All right, let's see what's going on, y'all. I'm back. Let's see what messages we got for the collective. This is a general read, guys, so it may or may not resonate. Don't try to make it resonate. Just go with the flow. Just go with the flow. If it resonates, it's for you. If it don't, it may be on the next one, okay? Okay. I'm getting somebody calling your energy in. Okay. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, we got past life relationship. Okay. Somebody wants to heal their family. We got children and healing family issues. I thought I talked about this earlier. This might have been... I might have didn't post it. But I did a reading similar to this earlier. It was talking about this same thing. How somebody wanted their family back. It was the same energy. It was wedding and children. And like I said, it's a mama and a daddy and some kids. <laughs> like I said the same thing earlier. I said the same thing earlier. But I feel like y'all disconnected from each other. I don't feel like y'all together anymore. I feel like y'all disconnected. Y'all could be at a distance. Could be physical distance. Or y'all just distant in the home and distant from each other. But being that we got past life relationship here and healing family issues, I don't feel like y'all live together. I feel like y'all don't even, not even around each other. This person is feeling like you're their soulmate, though. And they want to have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. They want to talk about reconcil reconciling with you, coming back together, and getting their family back. It was the same energy, but I used these cards. It was the same <laughs> energy. Somebody want their family back. Somebody said they want their family back. I want my family back. <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's coming. Okay. What is this? This person wants their family back. But what's what's going on with them? What? Why all of a sudden a change of heart? Hmm. Yep. Yeah. They're now recognizing uh the connection here. Some of y'all were married to this person. Y'all either were living together, y'all made some type of commitment to each other. I'm getting a really strong connection here. Um this person this person settled for something and they learned they listen. Whatever this is, whatever they settled for, they learned they lesson. They say, look, I done learned. I done learned my lesson. They don't even know what I offer. But they gotta play the victim first. Yup, look at this. Victim, shadow work. Then we got deception and forgiveness. So they wanna know if you'll forgive them for what they've done in the dark. They're going to try to play the victim role first. They're going to try to come at you with the victim and play the victim role first. But they have deceived you in some way, shape, or form. And I told you, they settled for something and they learned they listened. While y'all was on a break, they did some, oh, they did some. We got Twin Flame and Pause. While y'all were on a break, they did some thinking. They have a lot of regrets. They understand that they, they want you to get uh, un, to understand them. This person could have had like some type of habit, some type of codependency issues, could have some obsession. They could have a drug addiction. They could have whatever their flaws are. Maybe they were trying to get to understand themselves more. They want you to admire them again. 
They want you to look up to them again. They want you to give in to them again. And they are watching you. They are watching you. There you are. Like I say, they contemplate on y'all being together again. This could be someone that you have children with or this person. They have some things from their childhood that, some things that stem from their childhood that they brought into their adulthood. Okay, so they have mommy issues, daddy issues, trauma, whatever it is. A lot of shadow work needs, needed to be done. But this person been thinking about y'all getting back together for a while. They just haven't said it out loud. They just haven't said it out loud to you. Okay, we got Divine Feminine. Maybe you have this person blocked. Maybe you actually have this person blocked on your phone or you just block this person out. They want to take action towards you, but they feel stuck. All right. They feel stuck. But they want to come. There, there is a pause. Like this person, they, they're on a pause. They're on a pause. And it's because during this break period, they were devoted to this karmic. They were getting, putting all this energy into this karmic partner. So they were dealing with a karmic. Okay, look at this. They tried to replace, they tried to replace y'all family life, the way y'all do things, the way you and the kids do things, the way you and him did things together. This this mother literally tried to replace all of that. How they sitting here stalking you, watching you, observing you? Because they just stuck. They stuck on you. They stuck on you. <laughs> they are stuck on you. Like what? I don't know what you did to this person, but they stuck on you. Okay, so yeah, let's talk. Let's see what else. This person's energy. What else? Tell me what else is going on. Why does this person want to return all of a sudden? What's going on with this person? What's been on their mind? When it comes to the divine feminine. What's been on this person's mind? I'm hearing this person say they I'm clearly hearing this person say I just want to see if I can come back. <laughs> I just want to see if you was thinking about me like how I'm thinking about you. Now before we do that, let me see. Cause I wanna see. I wanna see what's what's on this person's mind. How does this person feel about the vibe coming in? What does this person feel about divine feminine? What does this person want to say to divine feminine? What does this person want to say to divine feminine? So many things remind me of you. about you every day. I think about you all the time. Mm. 
<laughs> the lovers. That's the outcome. See this person, they're tired of waiting for you to reach out to them. Could be a Taurus or a Libra or a Gemini. Could be any sign. Yeah, they, they just kind of like, dang, I wish I could change their mind. See if I can come back over to... <laughs> and maybe we can talk about how we can work it out. They feel burdened. They feel exhausted, burnt out. This person thought that you would have came back by now. So you might have been gone for a while. This, the, the challenge is this person is waiting for you to contact them. They're waiting for you to reach out to them so they can tell this karmic that you reached out because they don't want to be the first one to say it. They don't want to be the first one to say it. They don't want to look like the bad guy in the situation. Because they feel like this karmic going to get mad at them. But they know it's coming one day. They feel it. <laughs> they saying, look, I feel it. She gonna come back for me. She coming back for me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Why is the night of cups here? I'm picking up Taurus. But they're, they're like, hoping that you're doing... They're hoping that you're, like, okay... They're just like, you know, like wanting to see you, wanting to know how you're doing, wanting to see. I feel like some of y'all got children with this person or a child. It looked like they got in a rebound situation, especially with that five of swords. It was to try to make you jealous. Yep. Feel like he felt like you know it was time to leave the relationship, but they did it out of spite and they rushed. They feel like they should have gave that some thought. They feel like they should have gave it some thought, but they didn't. They rushed into another situation. This person is coming to apologize. Three of Swords and the Page of Wands. This person feels like they owe you an apology. They feel like they owe you an apology. And they want to start over. Ace of Wands in the world. They want to start over. And I'm telling you, they spine. <laughs> they spine on you. They've been spying on you the whole time. They feel like they stuck with this karmic when they could have the the Empress. They're scared of what you, what you would say. You know, how they're going to explain what happened. And they know they got to give you some type of um, explanation. They know they took things too far. They, but they feel like they didn't have a choice. They didn't have anything at that time. And they were just going along with it. They were just going along with it. Going along with whatever was coming. They didn't think that this karmic, them and this karmic was going to make it, like, that far, as far as they did. But they don't want to be seen. They don't want to be seen by everybody all in the spotlight. Um, I feel like that wasn't the plan. But sometimes, I have them, they get lonely sometimes. Um, 
and the NMs the replacement. But they feel like they should have gave you some thought. So they tried to replace you because they got lonely. <laughs> I see you not putting in not, not a lick of effort. Some of y'all have just like, no, I'm not doing it. I'm not putting in no more work. I'm not putting in. Or you feel like this person has to put in enough effort. And I feel like the last time that you did put in effort, you regretted it. So you're keeping it moving. Yep. I feel like you did that. I'm here. I did that already. And it seemed like you already made up your mind. So stay over there. Now we got the tower. This person will be so surprised if you allow them to come back because they feel like you have completely blocked them out of your life. Got the lovers and the sun. I feel like you showed this person the true meaning of love. And I feel like... You walking away gave this person, like, a different perspective, okay? And I feel like this person misses the hell out of you. They thought that you would have came back by now. They thought y'all was just going through an uh, argument. They didn't think it was, you know, going to be this long to where you guys aren't speaking to each other. I didn't think it was going to last that long. And now they got to think of what to even say to you. They're not even sure. They're not even sure what they want to say to you. But the feelings are still there. They just don't know how to come towards you. just been sitting back waiting for you to say something they just been waiting for you to say something like get mad say something Urgh, give me something to go off of <laughs> i feel like you're not even feeding into this person's energy you're not even feeding into none of their games they gonna have to straight up just come to you straight up it can't be no playing no games, trying to use somebody else to get to me. Or I don't feel like y'all even playing no games with those type of games with this person. They're going to have to be an adult and come to you and sit down and, and apologize and take responsibility. And actually take action. Clean it up. If they can't do that, I feel like a lot of y'all just like, okay, what's love got to do with it? Because I need more than that. You got to give me some respect. You got to put some, you got to put some accountability on that. You got to put all of that. You got to put, it's a, it's a melting pot. It's a whole bunch of ingredients right here. Put all of that in there. All right. Y'all let me know what's going on in that comment section below. All right. I'm going to chat with y'all later.